This is uh, NorCal Hobbies, the Top Gun Championship number 12. Uh, it's really fun. That fourth car, that's one of my buddies, and then my other friend is... Uh, actually, I can't tell right now. Uh, but I'm going to try to follow one of them. And you can't really see the number 8 in the front, but uh, we're following that white car. And uh, this appears to be such a fun class. Uh, both of them decided to jump into it. I believe this is their second race, to be honest. Uh, but it looks so great. This is the B main. Uh, but it looks so great that uh, I decided to buy one. I just have two built ones. So hopefully in the next race I have a fully built F1 and then I can uh, give it a try. Uh, but uh, here we go. So F1 is where we'll drive. Uh, most of the people here run uh, Team Powers tires or Exotech tires. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is since I haven't really run them as far as how the compounds seem to adhere to the asphalt. Now the Exotech tires are a little lighter so that is one of the differences. Uh, Exotech I believe offers uh, 40 compound for the front and 36 compound for the rear whereas Team Powers offers uh, more variety. I believe they have a, either a 32 or a 34, 34 or 32 for the rear. So slightly softer if the numbers are actually the same. If not, then uh, never mind. But uh, here's the car and watching them, they are surprisingly smooth. They look surprisingly smooth. I've not driven one. They are re rear wheel drive. And if you look at the F1 cars, they look very similar to pan cars. So if you plan on getting into F1 and you've seen a pan car, they're going to be very similar. Uh, now all of these use rubber tires. Uh, they use foams. They probably have a grip like crazy. Uh, now the motors are 25.5 motors, but these are very light cars. I believe the minimum weight is uh, 1,080 grams. I could be a little off on the weight. I would have to check, but it's definitely under 1,100 grams. Uh, but here are the cars. But look how smooth they look. Now, one of the things, uh, you do have to modulate the throttle or else you will spin out. So usually, most of these guys, what I'm told, is you just roll into the turns. So you let off and you just let the car roll into the turns and then you smoothly start accelerating out. Uh, so motor for this, um, I'm not sure it would be a good recommendation until I start driving, but considering it's rear-wheel drive and it's really, really light, Probably a motor with a, uh, I don't want to necessarily call it a light uh, rotor would be ideal, but perhaps in this instance, keep in mind this is asphalt, uh, so maybe a Hobbywind B3 would be a good start and they have some nice little combos. Now, B mains, uh, the way it works is if there's a lot of drivers in an event such as this, uh, the top eight will make it to the A main. And then the next top eight will make it to the B main. And if there's more, then the next top eight will make it into the C main. So let's just say there was then uh, there's a C main. Now here there's only a B. So everybody in the C main would race. The top two would go into the B main. Now you have ten cars in the B main. Now everybody would race, and then the top two would go into the A main. So now you have ten cars in the A main. So here it's the top two. Now, unfortunately for my buddy, I think he missed it by one. Uh, and it was probably because of that little spin out that you saw. And that's one of the things that is challenging. Uh, it is difficult to make up ground uh, when you make a mistake like that, because that means that, well, let's just say everybody else would have to mistake like, make a mistake like that, or you would just have to be super fast. There's mistake number two. Maybe it was that. Uh, at least here there were no uh, green shells or red shells. I think he experienced a blue shell in a different race. It wasn't an F1 though. Um, but again, beautiful looking cars. Uh, you need to have some form of livery on there. He's still waiting for his to arrive. At least he has that number in the front. It's number 8. You can tell him apart. Uh, but again, really fun class. The chassis are actually less expensive. Uh, the Exotech is under $400, X-Ray is just over $400 online, you can find them for about $400, 
but most of those chassis are back ordered. Uh, I managed to get lucky and pick one up here at NorCal Hobbies. They had, I think, three or four delivered, and I picked up number three. Uh, well, the penultimate one. So, looking forward to building that. Uh, my buddy is running an Exotech, uh, and he did a very good job building. There's a lot of turnbuckles, so there's a lot of measurements. So, make sure you have a very good set of calipers to do everything with. Well, that was the end. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.